the pandemic kind of created a conspiracy theory singularity. Like every previously existing conspiracy theory can be folded into pandemic bec because a pandemic is affecting everyone on earth. You're able to fold it in and there's of course like crossover with Q, crossover with anti-vaxxers, and then, of course, there's going to be serious right-wing people who see this and want to then co-opt it. This is happening a lot in, like, what well, happens a lot at anti-lockdown protests everywhere, where the anti-lockdown protests just become this, like, petri dish of all of these sick conspiracy theory, just sick people in America that are all coming together over this frustration that they can't really name, yeah. you know? It's that they're not, they're not able to have their little whatever basic freedoms of... of I don't know, going to Applebee's or whatever. Right. And uh, they can all sort of, build, like for lack of a term, build with each other and, yeah. and combine these theories together where you have like, now there's a whole like wellness influencer side of Q or like, it, like you know, people in yoga studios in LA that like the Q, Q is like tearing up like different wellness circles and, and like getting into the anti-vax shit or like in Germany... And in Australia now, there's like a lot of neo-Nazis trying to organize at these anti-lockdown rallies. So it's, it is, it's, uh, yeah, there's, there's fertile ground in this lack of clarity of why this is happening. Yeah. And a very, I think, a bad messaging from official channels. And then also decades upon decades of loss of legitimacy right. in those channels. So it's sort of chickens coming home to roost that it's, it's hard to do a very quick fix well said. on how we can really do something like this unless you want to go like um what did he <laughs> rob wallace was, he was saying like some of the the wuhan lockdown like that props to them they fucking crushed that they, you know they fucked up at the beginning downplayed it but then they crushed that shit some of it was like totally over the top unnecessary draconian shit like you can't go out at you know like the virus can be more active at night or something like weird stuff like that but he goes like it's like public health with Chinese characteristics. And he's like, we got America, public health with American characteristics, which means nothing. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's like we get surveillance. We get surveilled everywhere we go on our phones, but that's not even plugged into some fucking app that can help. <laughs> exactly. us, you know? Yeah. That's the, that's like the really frustrating thing too, is, is like, um, if these people who are so fucking upset about a lockdown or about a vaccine, got upset about the actual oppression in America, about police killing people and you being surveilled everywhere you go, we'd fucking get somewhere. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But it's like, yeah, it's frustrating. I mean, it's consumption-based. I mean, that kind of goes to that last, the last article I did for The Nation that kind of opened with the meat shortages at the beginning of COVID and some Republican governors. Uh, this kind of goes to the beginning of the conversation of uh, advocating to keep the meat placking plants open because... He's like basically threatening civil unrest if people can't get meat. Can't get their meat. Yeah, essentially just being like, you saw what people were freaking out about, like toilet paper. What the fuck you think is gonna happen when the like the meat shortages happen? And it was like that's kind of. I mean, it's who you don't know if that would have happened, but it's a powerful, um, it's a powerful rhetorical tool and like and, and tool of persuasion sort of thing. And that kind of is like right wing politics in this country right now is like we got a bunch of well armed toddlers who want their <laughs> treats. And if you don't get them, we're fucking going to come storm the Capitol. You know, that is. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That is yeah. Yeah, the toddlers who want their treats. That yeah. Is very <laughs>